Hi, this is Eldon with Yoder Outdoor Furnaces. Um, thought I'd like to show you how to clean a fan or on a um, G or GS series Heatmaster furnace. Um, we've had some customers that have gone for years without cleaning and the fan gets caked with ash uh, and starts rubbing on the housing around it. Um, so I thought I'd show you how to clean that out. Um, this um, fan is running right now, so I'm going to go around the furnace and I'll turn the switch off. And it comes with a, it, you see where it's plugged in here. So I'd unplug that. On this particular model, the plug is on the top. Um, so I'm going to put a piece of tape over that so no ash gets down the hole. On the newer models, this one's about two years old um, that I'm burning here. The newer models, the plug is over here on the side, so you don't have to worry about that step. Um, the fan comes out with a 916 socket. Um, just loosen these four nuts. rotates, slide it out. Um, you can see there, there's some ash buildup on the blades. I haven't cleaned this for about a year, so that's pretty normal. Uh, if it's black sticky stuff, the furnace probably isn't burning right and you've got some airflow issues or wet wood or something else going on, but that's pretty normal after a several months or a year burn. So um, I'm gonna get a tool here and scrape that crud off. So it stays balanced and doesn't rub on the back side between the, the wheel and the insulation board there. It's not a lot of buildup on this actually. Be careful, don't beat up the board. Uh, I'm just going around in between here and then. If you have an air hose handy, that's nice too, but I don't have that real close here. I'm not being terribly fussy, but just getting the majority of it off. That's it. Now, inside here, there's a little bit of build up. It wouldn't hurt to scrape off. You just don't want it to build up to the point that it scrapes on the fan. I also take a, this is a hot piece of high tensile fence wire, just anything stiff, and go up the chimney. And just make sure that's all clear. You can take the chimney off, come down from the top side, it's actually easier. I'm just doing it this way because I'm here in the video. You see the bits of crud coming down through. I've been burning up junk wood right now and it's making a little more crud than normal. Because this is June and it's just that time of year to clean up the wood pile. Um, so this is trash that was up in the chimney. Uh, that's fairly common after a winter of burning. Something that should get cleaned out. A little bit of trash is in there, it's not a big deal. Um, now this whole plate comes off. Um, I usually once a year go on back into the area above the turbulators and sweep all that out. I'm not going to show that in this video, but um, go in there with a shop vac or just the, um, like I said, I have this little piece of sheet metal. I just knock the ash down the tubes. Um, but I think you get the idea. It's not critical that it's scoured clean. Um, it's just that you don't let it build up till it starts blocking airflow. I'm going to put the fan back in. Tighten it up. That's why the tape is there. And I'll turn the switch back on. And it's about a got some ash blowing out the chimney, but we're good to go for at least several months. I check mine every couple months, but I purposely didn't clean it for about a year just to see what it would do. So that's it. Thanks for watching.